Hey there, everyone. This is Al Cow playing Oak and Mahogany. And uh, last time we finished uh, the session with a failure in reading comprehension. <laughs> Sometime that's gonna happen. I feel like so. Like it was at the end of the session. I feel like the further in we get, the more it is likely for me to just completely like mess up just reading. A, like a text box properly sometimes it's just gonna happen I feel like but hey we can still return yeah so you can totally like blow the flame out like it's yeah and I, I, I noticed you know post recording you blow on a wind and then you can just do that like it's very easy and you get a stray bead bed stray bed sleep on it special reward that's all you need to do that's it! You figured it out, Owl Cow! What, can I put a bomb, like, ahead of time? That's barely a bomb. Ah, oh, well, I can maybe just push it in. Yeah! Eat it! Because there's another chest on top. Is there a... What happens if you feed a bomb? Well, okay, well, we're gonna go to the third floor first. But I'm genuinely curious. Like, I didn't try that yesterday, but... Can we put a bomb here? Let's find out what happens. I mean, there it goes up to three, but I feel like... Okay, it just stays there. It is completely inert. We did it. We solved the puzzle. Ah, that's right. I obtained the Gale Shrine map. Oh, sweet. Right, because I feel like we might do some actual proper, like, uh, dungeoneering today. Hey, elevator, wait for me! I don't suppose you can, like, make a blow up here. Oh, come on. Like, put it from here when I'm not on the elevator? I mean, maybe. Because I'm not on it right now. Up it goes. And down I'll go! There's totally a secret here! Heck yeah, there's another bead. I guess that's where, like, weird hiding, hidden things are gonna be. Like, th that's, like, the prize- wait. Oh, there's a bunch of mousies. Alright, mouse. Who wants some grain? Mouse grain FM stereo! Now without a rubber hose. Hey, that's like- that's a lot of praise from all these mice. That makes this dog real happo. And then I get praise from the land itself. Then there's another chest here. That's right, chest me up. Give me that tiny little rabbit. Expression is quite expressive. I get to dig up mortar. This is just a puppy paradise. And you know what? You get praised for it. Dude, friend, I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> That's gross. All right, we did it. We did everything we wanted to do. Now let's go into the realm of shoes. If you want. All right, so of course, now this one's gonna go, make the thing spin by blowing wind at it. Like, I know that's what I want to do. That's what I've been wanting to do since yesterday. Maybe they won't? Okay. Maybe they won't. I am happily surprised. Here we go, ventilator. Yeah, you have the... yeah. But that's what I was doing, no? So the direction matters. Okay, it just goes in a different direction than I thought it would. Alright. I did it! Open this box and get brush tips! Alright, let's read some tips from the pros. Uh, uh, after we check out on animals. See, there's a new animal here. Yeah, he's so happy. Look at that happy foxy. Never seen such a happy round. There's a tiger. Clock you subsist on meat. I'm learning all the important facts. Robust. And they'll eat your shoes. Whoops. And I pressed the wrong button there. It's a raccoon. Oh, so I could give them fish. If I got fish, I want a fish. Want some fish? Here we go. That's a crab. It's a tiny crab. Uh, will not wear pudding cup as hats. I don't know why. Yeah, whopper. He's a big old like uh, earthquake fish, catfish. Same thing. 
Uh, here's a hallway with... It has like a slumped over column there. Oh, and we got some ziggity zags. Uh, can I not climb up? Yeah, of course I can. Yeah, see, if you look just at the map, there's like nothing interesting. But if you actually look, you can see that this thing is cursed or something. Okay, I'm standing on wood. It's all good. Uh, win the tire shoes! Be confused! Darkness! There we go. We're out of the dark. Now we can read the vines, read the news, uh, become- Whoa! Hey, yeah! So you're enjoying that wind you brought back to life, but be careful, it'll blow us away if it gets much stronger. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, you, so you want me to not blow wind? There's a bunch of chests there. In awkward spots. There's another chest to open here. There's just like, so many prizes. Yo, and it's so precise. All right, sweet, a lantern. I call them lantern. They're sake bottle. I know by now. Um. So yeah, there's a bunch of boxes there. And it's like, whoa, wind, be careful. But I wonder if he means that I should blow wind so that that happens. So the opposite of what Isun was suggesting, basically. Yep, sounds like it. Yes, the wooden bear. Fearsome, like a Nantucket jersey. Sports team. Oh, look at that, doing some wacky platforming. So there's a setup like this outside with a bunch of flags. Ooh, what's that? Oh, exorcism. It's a bomb for bombs. All right. Well, yeah, I solved that puzzle. I don't know if there's anything else. Press this button. There's a little mouse there. I guess I'm gonna feed you, little mouse. Have some grain. Some seed, uh, little tiny guy. You're the smallest one of all, so you should be the one that gives me the most praise. For the sun has looked down upon you and smiled. All right, well, there's a safe spot. That's pretty worrisome. Maybe a little bit. Oh, there we go. Played for seven minutes. <laughs> Did it! Dash. Alright. That's just a texture of stone. Let's go in here. Oh, someone put all of this here. These... These torches. So I need to... Blow some powerful wind. Yeah. So the torches get at bay. You know, it makes a lot of sense. Let's do a little curly cue. There we go. Happiness has been reached. Hey, we got those, like... Holy string things. Like, big ropes. That is a thing I've seen here and there. Well, here's a big old light tunnel beckoning us to a world of fruit roll-ups. Hey, one of those part-time save points. There's like all these horse heads up there looking down on that arena. Yeah, totally not weird. Uh, well, there's the holy grape right there. Yeah, I do see it. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, it's upside down, so it would be more like a berry than a grape. Uh-huh, yep, yep. Are we gonna fight Waka? Like, is he gonna go down upon this place? Like, Red Helm, Crimson Helm should be around, right? There's like a red symbol on the floor. Don't think I didn't notice. That's a torch. Yep, yes, indeed, alright. Well, look at that. If it isn't Fry Guy. That fire's super rad. Okay, that guy is pretty rad, actually. There's Charizard. <laughs> hey, must be Christmas Helmet. Yes, Christmas Helmet. There we go. Red and green. Uh, better psych yourself up for this one, me. Alright, so boss fight, Mr. Guy. I got my orbs back. Hi. What are you guys doing here? Uh, the doggies are gonna help? Yes, they are. I hope so. Alright, so what's the story here, Jim? Does not care at all about that. Uh-huh. Uh... Okay. Can I bite him in the butt? Not really. Oh, he's a horse. Like, he has four legs. He's a centaur. 
Uh, let's put a bomb on him. Like, you'd think that'd be useful against fire. I dazed him, but it didn't stop him. Fire breath. Alright. Looking good. Uh-huh. Big slash. Fire breath again. What if I just blow wind at him? Yeah, I'm not sure how that would impress him, I'm aware. Wow, I managed to jump that. He's just sitting there. Like, does that mean anything? Like, I can't do that. Uh-huh. He just broke the wall. That's really rude. Like, that's probably really expensive to repair, you know? They gotta use, like... Alright, well, now that's just what you're doing at this point. Alright, you keep on breaking... Oh, jeez. If I do that against his fire breath, it clears it. But, like, that's about it. Well, what if I spun it thusly? Yeah, I'm not seeing it immediately. Alright, I'm gonna push against you! Oh wait! Why did I do damage there? I don't know, but I'll take it. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh, you're like a weird skeleton now. Alright, now things are back in the air, and that cost me some godhood because I just stayed right next to him while splashing him forever. So something with wind happened there. Maybe I can like claw underneath him? I am desperately looking for an opening. Yeah, and now there's a funny boing because I used a lot of ink. I'm aware, like I'm perfectly aware. It was on purpose. So I think it... So I, I hit him with ink Post destroying, like getting his face stuck in there. Crosswinds? I don't think so. Hmm. Like, I am really. If I bark at him. Yeah, he's gonna like, wow, that's a mean dog. What did I do? I really do not know. Put him in the rump. Let's see, like, what did I do? Yeah, that's nothing. Gonna make a tree grow underneath. What? My tree didn't grow. Wow, I can't believe you do that. Yeah, no resolve from that. Gonna throw this off away. Uh, maybe I would have done damage if I had my actual instruments. I don't know. Oh no, it's the dogs that are taking the burnt of my of the attack. Hmm, okay. I don't know what you're doing. Whoa, that is a massive fire burst. Okay, there so I guess I, I there's he has this tired state. Right. All right. Well, there's something to do here. Yo. Okay. All right. Well, by taking a while to understand, I feel like at least we got to see a lot of his attacks. Cause he's super cool, and he's obviously not done. I just made him mad. Uh oh. Or we broke the arena. Or. No, that's the opposite! Oh, no... Um... Well, we got, like, a Roshi going up- Susanna, what are you doing?! Uh, okay. Well, we can combine our abilities. That's fine. This animal has tiny feet, considering its mass. Charge! Is he gonna cut all, like, the Hydra heads? Uh, Time for some. No, I'm I'm perfectly aware of that. Is soon. Yeah. Well, yeah. Slice this guy's head. Yeah, that's right. Slice and dice him. Yeah. It says a whole bunch of crazy words. I don't know what they are. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Slice him up. Always in the same order. Yeah, that's right. 
Zucchini Blast! Uh, that's right, your unholy sword is fraying the serpent! Uh, uh, <laughs> it's the wind-up! <laughs> oh, some wind? Sure. <laughs> Gotta crank him up! Whoop. Gonna crank him up! <laughs> this is so dumb! <laughs> There's more! <laughs> Wind of wrath! Yeah! <laughs> oh man! <laughs> at least I said it before, but at least he's aware of it. Uh, wow. Hey, we're trying to protect you, friend. That is an interesting interpretation of the situation at hand. Hmm. You use the word dogging, it's pretty funny. Man, he's really mad though. Wow. Well, that's bad. <laughs> Good thing I'm here to give the important commentary. <laughs> oh, geez, is this, is this like actual Orochi? Oh, well, there's an evil barrier. That's unfortunate. Oh, he's gonna, like, he's gonna, like, not invade, but, like, take over Suzano at some point. What do I want, Dragon Head? Well, that certainly happened. Yeah, hey, is that uh, an upgrade to my collar? I think it is. Divine Instrument Life Beads. It sure is. That draws upon pure life energy to destroy. So, hey, upgrade to my gun. Nice. That's still happening. Hey, so... Sweet. You're here, too. Everyone's just getting into my, my space here. Yeah, he's just gonna pilfer it, huh? Pilfer the great grape? Fantastic. More importantly, like, it belongs to the shrine. Like, gods are literal, as I am one. So, like, holy object has meaning here. Oh, so are you gonna open up the path under the... Yeah! Okay... Big growl from like beyond this cave. What are you doing, Waka? All right. Well, yeah, he's gonna open up the cave under the moon lake, and that's gonna be the next thing. I think. Sweet. It was so useful last time. That's 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 as vague as a real prophecy for what it's worth. It's not really a prophecy, like that's more like a fortune cookie. Like prophecies I feel have a bit more meat to them. Spell a barrier out of the moon cave. No yeah. I know Well he told us before, like he wants to slay a Roshi and that's where he is, right? Hey, I'm gonna victory howl as much as I want, buddy. Oh, well, anyways, we did a thing! So, we're not immediately going to the festival? Ooh, that's a lot of money. Yeah, my time was bad, but the dogs protected me. 
One mean dude. Uh, of course I would like to save. I don't know what's gonna happen, but... Uh, yeah, that's where I just saved, so let's replace that. Look at that. Video games. They exist inside our mind. And as long as we believe hard enough, they will exist in the real world too. That's right! I'm the favorite! Look at all these dogs panting in unison. Beautiful. Also, the ping dog, it's kind of funny because the outline, like, don't fill in the color, which is, you have to go out of your way to make that work in 3D. But that's funny to me. Fishing wind, we're gonna blow down to village. Yeah, that's right. I saved the world! Uh, rejoice. Yeah, you can see how much they're rejoicing. Whoa! Hi, ghost! I'm sad, uh, oh yeah, no, yeah, the windmill on your helmet is moving a little bit. There's a little bit of ghostly wind going on. Aw, oh, man, well. Alright, you get to be lonely now, Fuse. I did it. <laughs> Oh, farewell. Later. What a... What a weird pose to go as you're, like, freeing yourself from the mortal world. Well, camera! Oh, she doesn't know. Hmm, alright. Never mind, she was lonely all this time. Well, she got all these dogs. Sounds like a monster, a pretty hard job, but yeah, all this praise just for me, because I did an excellent job. Thank you. I guess I should talk to the different puppos. Sweet, yeah, one of you uh, took a few hits for me. I really don't need Isun's little peanut zone here. Like, what do I, what do I gain from this? I just want to know what the dogs know. Or, well, want to share. Like, Isun is like... The avatar of absolute white noise. Speaking for the sake of speaking. Just filling up air. He would do great in the modern age with social media. That's my weirdly out of place commentary that came out of nowhere. I did it though. So yeah, dungeons in this game aren't really dungeons. Like, there's a couple of things they're gonna do, but like, you kind of go right to the point. But like, there's also a bunch of stuff you do outside. So you know, it's, this is just not a dungeon-based game. And that's fine. That is totally normal. <sighs> it was Roshi as breath. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm, right, mm-hmm, that's right, okay, maybe. Rajasake is back in that village, and it's about time, okay, so we do go to the festival. I mean, I would, first of all, gross, second of all, like, I would rather check out underneath the moon cave. I, I will check out the festival, because I predicted that would be a thing. And, you know, I, I am curious to see what's going to happen there. But, as the person playing the game, personally, I'm much more looking forward to the cave, the moon cave. Wasn't there a box? Yeah, right here. I'm going to open that box, check it out. Whoosh, opened. That's right, I got the dragonfly bead, it's so unique, this is like the sixth one I've seen. Alright, let's go over to village quickly, and that's gonna be it for today. Man, so weird, seeing such a blue sky in this game. Weird to say, but that's been my experience. Like, when things get real colorful, things get real pretty. Um, yeah, let's talk to this child. Whoa, hello. 
Wow, I never noticed. Well, see, it's very important knowledge that has been gained here. Hey, you peeps. Uh huh. All right, never mind that now. You know what? Yeah, not having any more monsters around would be a benefit to the well-being of this town. Inkeep, what's your take? Mrs. Plum? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, I mean, honestly, he was extremely, um, necessary to make it work. Gonna bust down these walls. Hey, yeah, I didn't get any of your things, so I'm just busting down your walls for no reason. Always happy to help. All right, uh, Dharma's still busted open. There's a couple other buildings that exist. We're going to encounter them on our travels. I'm gonna bust up this tanuki. Oh, I cannot. It is too spongy. Spongy tanuki. That's how they're applied. I don't know what that has to do with anything. I'm gonna keep the scored. I'm sure he won't mind. I need. Actually, I don't need it. My astral pouch has been filled for so long. Like, if I die, I'm not even gonna get any consequences because of that. All right. Oh, right. Oh, all right. Got baskets again. All right, well, I mean, I have no reasons to disbelieve you. Your words of enthusiasm are enough, my friend. Uh, here's this sweet empty home that I can just eat all their food and bump their claws up and break their buckets and break their cage with a rock on it. I don't know, are they keeping an animal? Not anymore! What an awkward way to end the video, because yeah, now we're at the save, I've got to save, and uh, that's gonna be it, like you might. Yeah! I can see how it would super drag in the people, even though they have to like go up like this long ramp. It would be very tiresome. I'm fine, I got seven, six, five, five, I'm very happy. I don't need those. I mean, one day maybe I'll need them, but... That is not my feeling for now. All right, so saving and next time, festival time, the only time that matters of the year. Air Dash.